So in this video I'm demonstrating how I painted this beach scene in soft pastels on UART 400 grit sanded paper. The size of this painting was 8 by 16. I usually buy my UART sanded paper in large sheets from either Dick Blick or Jerry's Artorama online and I think they come in 21 inches by 27 inches if I remember right. That way you can cut them down to any size that you wanted. I thought this panoramic length would go pretty well with the wave in general and would be a little more pleasing to the eye than one of your standard sizes. So I used Prismacolor New Pastels for my initial block-in. I used a warmer and a cooler color for this and I kind of melt it into the UART paper by using isopurple alcohol and that is just um, your basic ice purple alcohol you can get at any drugstore or your grocery store. It's like a dollar for a bottle. And I just used a synthetic paintbrush to apply that. Once that's dry, you can come on top with your regular soft pastels or harder pastels if you want. And you won't have filled up any of the grit of the paper. And this way, the underneath layers don't actually blend in with the colors that I'm putting on top. So if I don't want those pinkish purple colors to end up in my waves, then I should wet it with either the ice purple alcohol or you can also use water as well and it'll accomplish the same thing. Um, the ice purple alcohol just dries a little bit faster. So in the beginning it doesn't really look like anything what I'm doing here. I'm paying attention to the color that's underneath all the foam on the waves if that makes sense so the very base color of the waves so the dark greens the dark blues and then once that's all in then i'll put my you know foamy bits and <laughs> white parts on top of the waves and it doesn't matter if this is exact at all because you know who's going to be looking at the picture first of all that i'm working from and every wave is different So I can make it a little more green if I want, I can make it a little more blue, I can add purples. Um, it really depends on the color of like the sky, if the sun is on it. There's a lot of factors that play into what color the waves are. So don't get too stressed out over exact colors. And where I want it to look really soft and foamy, I'm just using the side of my pastel very, very lightly and dragging it across the top of the pastel that's already there. In general, it's smart to kind of work from top to bottom when you're working with pastels because they do have a tendency to drop some little bits of, of pastel all over what is underneath it. So if I started out at say the bottom and then I work my way up, chances are I'm going to have falling pastel dust going all over what I've already done. And you'll see me using my finger to blend in a few places here and there. It isn't ideal to use your finger to blend on this kind of paper because it is like sandpaper and you will end up sanding your fingerprints off if you do enough of it. So I don't entirely recommend that, but little bits here and there is okay and is comfortable. Otherwise you can use um, like a blending tool. You saw me use a piece of pipe foam insulation in the beginning stages of this. You can use that or you can use um, like soft tools for pan pastels. There's a few different things that you could use. Whatever's on hand really. And you'll see me work and rework these areas several times, adding different colors, changing the values, um, making the wave go in a slightly different direction, a different curve. And that's just, that's how I work, little changes here and there. I'm going to save my very lightest bits for last, where the waves will be spraying foam. 
Those will be the little bits of eye candy that goes on towards the end. And adding a lighter value on top now. And that's where I'm starting to get into the foam parts of the waves. It's very tempting to try and draw those in first, but really it works best if you leave them to last. And I'm using one of my softer pastels for that. I want to say it's a Terry Ludwig. The softer pastels will generally be a little brighter towards the end when you're using them as your final layer. It's a little easier for them to go on top of everything else. So I kind of changed the layout of the drawing a little bit towards the end here. Um, at the bottom right corner, I was originally going to have the beach going all the way across, but as I was working, I decided that I wanted the wave to be kind of diagonal to the confines of the painting. So I ended up bringing some of that water over the beach colors. And that was just personal preference. And here's all the little sparkle bits of the waves crashing up. And that's just using a very light value blue. I didn't want to use pure white in any of this because pure white is kind of flat and boring. So this part of the wave here, I'm trying to make it look a little more 3D than it did before. I'm trying to have my darker values do down towards the bottom and using like lighter, brighter greens towards the top of that wave and that will help it look like the light is coming from the top and that it's, it's a bigger wave. And it does take me a little while to kind of get it to look the way that I want it to. But that's one of the great things about the pastels, especially on this kind of paper, is that you can keep working it and reworking the area until it looks the way that you want it to. And here is the finished piece. Um, if you guys have questions, feel free to list them below. And please make sure you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more.